it, yo. I'm just picking Cloud, bro. And, yeah. And so. Cloud is gonna be like SSB4, it's just like Fox. Bruh. Like Melee Fox. Fox Falcon. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud, Cloud, if, uh, yeah. Smashville. Let's yeah. get it, no items. Tw uh, 20 FF. <laughs> Honestly. 20 FF, man. Oh my gosh. The other thing is, it's like. He's so dominant once you get him to that, that point where he's hyper. On, like, what do I do? Yeah. 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 Meant to be broken. Oh. oh! Pedro almost got his back broke. Oh, hmm. man, the shield pressure. Wow. Interesting. Choice. And now he's fighting back, though. These nice fair strength. Oh, if he would have dropped down his platform, he would have probably gotten F thrown and died. Eat. So it was a really good jump. I think that. Like, what are you supposed to do, like, with, like, as Cloud, just to be hyper aggressive like that, but still maintain just general neutral? Like, yeah. it literally takes, like, a level of precision. You can almost tell, like, the difference between the polished clouds and then the ones that are like, yeah. all right, I picked him up two minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, no, even though Uno was doing a little too, uh, he was, when he was watching him play, when I was watching him play dubs, he was a little too aggressive on stage, ended up losing stocks a little unnecessarily, mm. but his on-stage game was just picked up Cloud like a week ago. It was not even a week Back throw! I wonder what he's we'll going for when he throws that blade beam after limit side B. Because it seems mm -hmm. as though he's he's thrown it out twice now, and I'm wondering yeah. whether or not he's trying to be reversed. Oh! Him. Nice back air catching that, um, that, like, attempt to get to the ledge by Coach Pun. Up air! Strong, man. Like, he got a hard head, bro. Yeah, I swear, he got some bricks. Come on, man. <laughs> <Them> bricks. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna take them bricks across the across the state border for you, bro. <laughs> That's what Elsie got in his backpack, man. He's running Yo. traffic for. Uh, it's one thing if he's got a really hard head. Now you call him drug mule. Yo, he's a mule he's a drug mule, bro. <laughs> he's like he got always got that backpack. He didn't take it off for anything. Ooh. Oh, he should have just grabbed them. That would have been it. Backpack boys. Oh uh, yeah, all he had to do was just grab. Another chance at life. We'll see if um, Coach ends up regretting it. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a complete turnaround from what we just saw 6WX versus uh, Blazing Pasta. Maybe uh, Coach Pun has a remedy, or yeah. it's just that um, Uno's still taking his time to learn out the character. It seems yeah. like 6WX definitely flexing some dominance here, uh, using certain uh, aspects of the character. Because I don't know if you know, but 6WX punishing some things under the stage. I didn't even know Cloud's dash attack reached that low. Oh, definitely should have came down with the. The, the hazard. Mm. Oh no, Cloud. Gonna go ahead and wait it out, play patiently. And Uno just going ham right now, getting those nares just flexing on him. And Uno's definitely doing a really good job bringing this back. It's very close now. A limit side view with the amount of rage he has might take him out. Yes. Back throw. Uh, limit back throw. I feel like or... he might have de eyed that. Uh, uh, if he, he could have de eyed that better, it looked like he was starting to slow down. I think he should have de eyed it um, down and like. Down and in, yeah. instead of just in. But I don't know. Regardless, Coach Pun, very good job. He could have ended that game a lot earlier if you right. would have just f threw him on the platform when he got beat up there. But he still clutched it out regardless. So hey, yeah, doesn't man. really matter. You can't take Ness to you can't take Ness to Smashville though. Anyways, that's yeah. what he wanted. Be. He wants to be there. It's just yeah. like oh word, my crib right around the corner, bro. This is yeah. my hood. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Like, catch the mess out of you. There's no way. There's no way you're yeah. stopping him. And Coach Pun already knows what to do when it comes to that easy kill on the stage. Uno knows about it. Uh, oh, um, Coach, Coach Pun. Yeah. Mm. Uno. So Uno, I saw he did this um against the Great Gonzalez. He actually won on this counter pick. Um, did he really? Yeah, he played Great Gonzalez. Uh, I think it was his last match, and he took him to game two. Uh, on Duck Hunt. He ended up winning, but he switched to Pac-Man when um, Gonzalez wanted to go to FD. It's an interesting stage pick for Cloud. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about the, the uh, Z-axis, and especially with PK Fire in the mix, I probably would want to approach with up air, you know, especially since it'll stuff a lot of things that yeah. Ness will throw out. I like, I feel like this is like a decent stage for Cloud, not a great one. It gives him room to like run around, charge limit more, but at the same time, like the um, lack of like a lot of platforms doesn't really help him too much. True. And, um, because it's like so open, he gets a little, he has a little more trouble like finishing off mm. those stocks. Well, Uno's definitely not having that same kind of trouble because he's making short work of uh, Coach Pun here in yeah. the air. Uh, one thing I do notice is that I would understand, I understand the stage pick, understand the counter pick. Yeah. He really took uh, Coach Pun here mainly for uh, the Z axis. Yeah, though. of course. Even though he does lose, um, 
his little invincibility, he makes Ness's air dodge a thousand Ooh, times. Just off the strength. mark with that air dodge punch. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Definitely. But, um, man, here goes the cold water, though. Ness, yeah. uh, with flexing some, uh, some air priority here that's just not able to reach Uno up here yeah. in a tree, man. Dash attacks coming out from Coach Pun. If you replace them with grabs, he might be able to, like, close this grab. But he's Honestly, he's just slow rolling it here to victory. Yeah. Oh, very good job Yee! catching him, trying to get to the left. <laughs> yeah. Caught him with that blade beam, I man. know. Sometimes, yo, he probably just, you know, somebody about to put four times cut on him. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. That materia. Oh, baby. And another side beat. Wow. Poor DI on the down throw from Coach Pun. He's going to take another 17% because of that. Honestly, I think he just weaved into that, thinking yeah. that he wasn't going to get hit, but yeah. just got caught, just got clipped by it. Yeah, so this counter pick definitely looking like the answer for Uno right now. Off to a pretty good lead. A limit side beat might just do the job if he can not waste his jump. Ooh, throw him off stage. Can he get the edge guard? Oh. Nah. If he would have been a little more aggressive, you would have had. Oh, uh, uh, well, he can still get punished super hard for that. That's a re grab, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, all right, Uno. Oh, oh, he didn't even really have to throw him, but he did it. Oh, no, man. I wonder if he got his jump back for that. I know he got uh, He him did in not. There. He just he grabbed him, so he he used his jump, wall jump, tried the up B, and then he just shield grabbed him, so he just didn't have a jump back. Right, but he forward threw him instead of grab release, so I'm really yeah. not entirely sure whether or not he got his jump back, though, since technically he yeah. wasn't suspended in air. I don't think so, but the world may oh. never know. Oh, my God. SD, though. We got to send Coach back back to high school so he can learn some angles, man, because that was terrible. <laughs> the Pythagorean theorem coming in, yeah. <laughs> coming in clutch in this matchup. Yeah. Yo, a plus B equals C, man. Yeah. <laughs> a yeah. square plus B yeah, square equals C square. square. Yeah, Come right, on, man. Right, right. My fault, man. Uh, anyway. Yo, I've been out of high school for a long <laughs> I'm, time. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say you back to high yeah, school, right, too. Yeah, <laughs> um, but anyways, Uno going to take game two on his counter pick. We're going to see where Coach Pond decides to go for game three. FD will be the choice. Stays cloud this time. Which I think is good for him. He really wants to learn this character. And the only way you're going to do it is by just doing it in this do or die situation where everything's on the line. Yeah. One of these guys is going to go home with, I believe, ninth place. And the other one will live to see another day. So we're going to see what happens. Yeah, and right now, Uno pretty much is back against the wall here. Yeah. Coach Pun really making him work. Ooh. Ooh. Going to have to watch those early recoveries. Yeah. I think the first step to learning a character is learning the alternate things you can do in situations that yeah. are, all, like, more yeah. frequently occurring. Like, okay, I know I'm about to get edge guarded really hard here. Mm -hmm. The immediate reaction is I'm going to upbeat. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe finding that alternate reaction to do something slightly different puts that level of uniqueness into the character, yeah. which kind of separates you out and also gives you an edge on your opponent. Mm -hmm. Good uh, mix-up on the uh, get-up ledge roll to help mess up uh, Coach's timing. Mm -hmm. Oh, doesn't go in right away, and that was actually kind of what Coach would want, getting that back throw. Yeah, Definitely, you got to make, you got to watch out when Ness does the regular, um, when Ness does regular get-up, it's honestly worth it to just kind of leave him alone, because if he shield grabs you, that, he, oh! And that dome coming out clutch there. again. Yeah, man. man. Oh, yeah, you don't. He's like, I, I studied all my numbers. That's all I got in this head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got a blast. <laughs> oh, Definitely man. sent Cloud into the blast zone. Yeah, and sure. now uh, Uno's got to play catch up trying to even this out, but he's going to get sent on a fair point. Oh! That's it. That's all he has to jump. Oh. No! Did he just oh. jump into death? Oh! I think he's done. Uh, I think he's just there for like playing that match out. Dang. Damn. Yo, chat, let me see your ones. Damn. Damn. I feel I felt that. Yeah. When I seen that jump, I'm just like, oh damn. I was like, he has his oh. Yeah. Dang. That's unfortunate. Um Right Coach, you dome. take that. Yeah, we take, take those. That. Oh, no, we take those. Every day. But for Uno, it's like, come on. You, you, you'd you like to see a player of his caliber, like, kind of stick it in. You don't want to see, like, that mentality where people just kind of give up. I mean, it's something that we see a little too much around Philadelphia, really. Uh, people kind of, like, letting themselves be their worst enemy. And um, it's something that Uno should definitely work on. He, he was – he lost the stock in an unfortunate way. Um, get well, jumping up and then getting up air like that. Well, let's but, be honest. I mean, he didn't think he had a jump. He definitely got two frame then, because if you think about it, he smashed, he force smashed him, right? Mm -hmm. 
we all knew that he was done on the jump. You know what I mean? At the very least. Mm. Honestly, I think I wouldn't say he even two framed him because if he two framed, him, he wouldn't hit him above the stage. So that's wrong. So actually, he just in reality still had his jump, mm. got hit out really, really far. Yeah. I really don't know what to say uh, in terms of what how that's he might have just hit Cloud so hard in the head with that bat it just messed up his sense of direction. Yeah. He thought well, he was going the bat back does to the have stage. A reflecting property, yeah. so maybe